Hi, it's Ed with Free Circle. Hopefully you're having a good evening. I just wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about thinking. Thinking is a critical tool in personal development. And a lot of us do not take time to think in a broad range of thinking they narrow their scope of thought to what has been fed to them instead of engaging in purpose of thinking the purpose of thinking is to develop yourself so personal development requires critical thinking. It's hard for a lot of people to think nowadays because the world is such a hectic place. It is a fast-paced, fast-moving, ever-changing. The rate of technology is just fascinating but not only do we see change in technology we are seeing social changes as we adapt to these new technological changes in our lives it's easy for one to set behind a computer and read the amount of information that they find suitable for their knowledge quest. <laughs> and then they comment on it. Um, soundbite living, headline grabbing and running with it. And we have created this culture where... Because technology is taking our lives in a different direction, it seems like the media and the social media, they have found that a good headline will grab a reader and suck them in. So now what we get is people just reading the headlines because everybody is trying to get that awesome headline to grab people in. So we're seeing this psychological change and this disregard for morality or understanding, courtesy, kindness. There's more motive in ambition that is driving individuals instead of compassion and understanding and the will to help change society in a good direction. So thinking is a critical tool in personal development and we need to start using that tool Take time out of your day and think about something really in depth. And I'm not talking about what you do for a living, uh, a job. If you're working at a job, you're always going to have to use critical thinking to complete your task. However, go outside of that ordinary box and most people nowadays, when they are done with their work, they are done with thinking. And they just want to get by to the next day. There's no ambition in teaching ourselves, educating ourselves, understanding what motivates people. So it's under understanding people and communicating with people that's how we 
find what we are going to think about ordinarily. And a lot of the social interactions nowadays lack critical thinking. And they are after the next big selfie or the next big uh, viral hit. They don't care about truth, reality, and what is actually happening in the world. They, they want to live in a Facebook fantasy instead of actually diving in and trying to understand what makes things tick. Why does it have to be this way? Because a lot of people just drown themselves out with nonsense because they don't want to tackle the tough issues of involvement. Trying to get people to talk. That's, it takes a lot of thought and a lot of understanding (laughs) excuse me so when we live our day if we live inside our own personal bubble and we don't try to accept that we're not perfect and we don't understand everything that goes on in the world it helps us find that motivation to think a little bit And a lot of uh, people nowadays are getting stuck on video games and uh, things on the internet that have no really, no real purpose, no real value to them just to take up time, entertain the mind. So when we indeed, when we indulge ourselves in thinking, it becomes a critical tool in our personal development. And a lot of people need to take the time just to think outside the box of what they're used to, the norm, the social structure. Maybe it's wrong. And maybe those people that are actually thinking outside the box, maybe they're the right ones in the world so we have to understand we have a lot of tools we can use to associate ourselves in society and get our thinking across but the best tool itself is the thinking and Most people limit themselves to what they've learned and behaviors that are taught to them instead of experiencing outside-the-box thinking, looking at others with a, a purpose, a meaning, what drives that individual. And then understand how to implement that drive into others. So thinking is what we need to do in order to achieve that. So society has made it hard for people to think about one another. Our lives are too busy. We have too much to do, and a lot of people can't take that time because they're too wound up in the day-to-day activity of their lives. And I understand that. I've been there, and I did not understand that until my accident, and I was stuck happening to think about it, and that creates... A lot of thought time. I spent a lot of time thinking, wondering, 
understanding what is driving society to this madness, this negative energy, instead of uh, a society that wants to work together as a whole. And it's critical thinking. A lot of us lack the critical thinking aspect of our lives. We are going on what has been programmed in us, what has been taught by our number one parents. Our siblings, our parents are our number one reasoning tool that is instilled in us young. So a little off, well, you lose that vital critical thinking aspect early. So you're going to struggle. And until you find out, Hey, you've got to put a little bit of thinking in your life to achieve what you need to achieve. Because a lot of people, they just want to get through life and get it over with. I find that just appalling. It, it, just sickens me actually you know there there is so many people out there and joy of life is being connected to be isolated and controlled by emotions and social patterns social norms this weighs heavy on a lot of people because a lot of people are in an economic uh, disadvantage, so they don't get the uh, access to the internet in locations. They don't have access to a library. They don't have access to these critical tools to develop education and understanding. So their personal development, it lacks because they don't understand how to achieve because they've never been taught. And trying to dig yourself out of that is extremely hard at times. And unless you have this mechanism to learn with and feel comfortable about learning. You know, when I was young, after the third grade, I did not like school because the year of my fourth grade, I remember it well. I had one recess because me and my teacher we did not get along, and instead of moving me to a different class under a different teacher, I was made to stay there. And this gentleman, uh, he was a very, he was an ass, let's put it that way, straight up. He, I don't like to bring that language much, but yeah, he made my life miserable. And actually that hindered my ability to accept a learning from a teacher. So, so yeah, I had to learn critical thinking on my own, basically. I come from a large family, and there's a lot of things you learn from being in a large family. And it took a while for me to learn critical thinking. I had thought, you know, it was just random and uncalculated but when i really got into
critical thinking about things, that's when I started developing an urge to understand what life's about. Why do we have to go through these things that we call learning institutions, schools, and it's because some of our parents don't know squat. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, I had actually a very intelligent mother. And she was very, very well versed in things. However... I chose a different route in life and I had to learn the rough way. I needed to understand what life was truly about. So I developed this way of learning and that was to experiment. Don't be afraid to do it. Be bold in what you do. Step out out of the box you know you you've got to step out of your comfort zone in order to achieve a new destiny so it takes a lot of thinking for people to build and develop personal skills and we get ourselves in a area of let's how should we say it uh achievement that we define ourselves to be more than what it is to somebody else and we we puff ourselves up we leaven ourselves and to humble ourselves and to realize hey, there's a lot of individuals out there with a lot of ideas that we need. We need these people to step up. And I think a lot of, like, and the Carnegie's, you know, when when they built America, you got, you know, the Rockefellers and all of these people that stepped outside of the norm to take that risk, that chance. That takes a lot to do because society tells you to set down. Uh, don't, don't achieve because... A lot of people get a mentality about them where if I'm not going to achieve, I don't want anybody else to achieve. That's a disastrous pattern of thought. We have to build America using the brightest and the best. And we have to accept that Certain people can do a task and certain people can't. So to achieve greatness, we have to develop our personal skills to say, I have limits. But with those limits, I'm going to set boundaries. So if I don't know how to do something, I'm not going to sit there and tell somebody, I know how to do this. Don't worry. That's not a good way to live. If I don't know, I'm going to say, hey, I don't know how to do this. I'm willing to learn. And if you want, I will take the time to do so. But to say that you can do it and you know that you can't, that's not critical thinking 
that's thinking of yourself and not of others. That is deception. So when we are thinking, we have to think about our limits, our boundaries to develop our personal growth. We have to be truthful with ourselves before we can be truthful with everybody. And thinking, critical thinking, that means opening your own can of worms and really looking at yourself. And that hurts. Believe me, it hurts. But it's the only way you can get past and achieve better for yourself. You got to get past the old ways of thinking and develop these critical thinking tools. I used to just run into whatever, just naive and yeah, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Well, I didn't understand what kind of problems it takes and creates when you say you will do something and then you don't end up doing it because if if you tell somebody you're going to do something and then they take you for yeah okay you say you can do it well then they're obviously going to make other plans they're going to plan in another direction because You've said you can do something. So to really be critical about thinking, that is a tool. You have to analyze everything you do. Every action, your words. I'm guilty of that a lot. I, I... often say something and then I wish I could withdraw it. But at the time I was feeling that direction. So that's what flowed. And sometimes I wish I would have slowed down and really thought about it before I just put an answer out. So, yeah, learning to use thinking as a tool to increase your personal development, it takes a lot of stress out of life. And I'm learning to do that. I I will just sit back for a week and think about something now where when I was young, I would just make a snap decision and then pay for it later. Some, oh, my security light just came on. I am going to have to take a moment. Yes, I have an alarm going off. Just a moment, folks, please. Sorry about that. The beauty of living in the forest. Uh, Big, big buck out in the yard there. Trip the motion sensors. Anyway, uh, critical thinking is a tool that a lot of people, they don't take time. And like I was saying, I will set for a week, two weeks, sometimes a month now and ponder and think about something before I do it. Where when I was 
you know, 20, 25, 30, I would just do it and pay consequences later because I did not really critically think my actions out. I assumed this is the way it's going to go. So when we uh, learn to slow down and just think our actions through fully and it, all you've got in your life is time. And I finally figured this out. I used to always think, well, how much time do I have? You know, I see people of all these ages, but I always felt I'm only going to live to be 25 because I was a fast paced. I lived this uh, very experimental life and I didn't care about thinking of much of anything. I wanted to experiment the world. I wanted to experience different things. So I tried different things and I, I developed life skills that made me understand people a lot more. I, I remember I was in Pendleton, Oregon and I was hitchhiking and I got stuck had no money, no, no real drive to do anything. So I was living under a bridge and I was just done and I was hungry. I was cold. I wanted a home, a home, you know, some place to fit in. So I just drug myself from under the bridge. And this overpass bridge was through a bunch of railroad. Uh, what do you call those? Uh, tracks, excuse me. Uh, railroad tracks. There was like eight track wide in this area because uh, it was a, uh, train yard and trains rolled through there constantly but I never thought about them coming through at 80 miles an hour or more so I was just wandering through with no thought it's kind of like the cell phone thing when people are just wandering about and they're so engrossed in their telephone that they don't they don't recognize there's danger around them so there's no critical thinking going on so i start across i'm going to go over to safeway and i'm going to just start eating out of the store because I was at my all-time low, and I had no place to go. I had no money. I had no food. And I said, well, I'm not going to just starve. So I went on my way over to Safeway. I went across one of these tracks, and as soon as I stepped off of the track, one of those silver bullet trains just went whoosh. And it almost drug me back into it because it, it created a suction. And right there, I really thought to myself, wow, I about died right there. You know, and I've had many of those experiences of, I should be dead uh, one second, one second sooner. 
I, I, I would have been toast. And I've had many near death experiences that made me think a little more critical each time. And that's what youth does. It makes you grow, develop, and understand life a little more. So developing critical thinking in everything that we do in life, even just walking about, you need these critical skills or you could be toast before you know it. So now, nowadays what I do is I sit back and I listen, I try to understand and I develop skills to with personal development, building myself and understanding why I do things. That's critical to me because if I know why I do do things that I do, I can help change what I do. And sometimes I do very stupid things. It's just because I don't take the time to use that critical thinking. So it doesn't matter how old you get you're always going to have to use that critical thinking just to walk down the street. So it's a tool. And why I am focused so much on this as a tool, anybody that uses a tool for a job, you know it's critical to maintain your tool it's the way to make your living well critical thinking is a tool to maintain your life in whatever you do it is critical to think and with that developing critical thinking you develop a personal growth and you develop these personal experiences that build you. So we all go through bad experiences and good experiences. Sit down and think about them. Really dissect and understand your life a little bit. Why did I do these things in life? And what drew me to those things? What compelled me to do that? Using critical thinking to understand yourself can help change the world because if we use critical thinking to self-diagnose, we develop a personal growth. We develop ourselves. So critical thinking is a must. Everybody has to use it or they become like a fly on the front of a Amtrak silver bullet. And you don't want that in your life because obviously then you would not be here to enjoy this wonderful world that we live in. Have you taken time today to look at the sky, a tree, a bird, something other than what you consume every day? Develop a skill to think about something out of the box, something out of your norm today, something that you would not normally think about. Google it or get in a dictionary. 
get an encyclopedia. Yeah, learn. Keep developing. Personal development comes from critical thinking. I'm Ed with Free Circle. It's been a nice talk. Uh, thank you for joining in. You're always welcome to push the button to join the talk. Uh, I'm always willing to just float with it. But critical thinking was one of those things that has been on my mind lately. And I hope that this little talk about thinking makes you think outside your norm today. Take time and think about something that somebody else would think about. Challenge yourself. Get outside your norm. Ed, Free Circle, out. Have a good evening.